what's everyone saying? It's your boy Summon Explores back again. I'm here today in Brixton, here in South London, and I've got one question. Why do overground trains not stop here in Brixton? I'm gonna have a look, I'm gonna find out why, and yeah, tell you the story. If you've ever headed on a cheeky jolly on down to Brixton in South London, you'll have probably popped out here at Brixton Tube Station on the Victoria Line, looked up, and seen this lovely bridge tower view and your five cans of Beaver Town neck oil. You think that that's the bridge for Brixton Mainline Station, which serves southeastern trains to the southeast. But nope, that's around the corner, tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the town centre. This bridge actually carries London overground trains, the same ones that hop between London's famed trendy hipster places, Clapham, Shoreditch, and Hackney. But have you ever wondered, why haven't they added a stop at this trendy hipster place too? Well, it's quite simple and I could literally tell you in like two seconds, but that's no fun. The shortest answer is basically that Victoria Line train you've just got off. In order to explain why, I'll need to present you with the short story of one East Brixton station. For that, we're going to have to go on a walk down Atlantic Road left onto Cold Harbour Lane and straight on to here, the site of the former station. You've probably passed here and not realised that anything spectacular was here. The station here was opened back in August 1866 as Loughborough Park, named after the nearby park and road which are literally two minutes away. The station was formed of two wooden platforms, one on each side, with stairs heading up there from street level and was served by rail services between London Bridge and London Victoria on the South London Line. East Brixton was part of some early 20th century plans for some high-speed monorail type things. But that didn't happen, huh? So why did the station close? Well, there's two reasons for it. You see that Victoria Line? That was one of the reasons for the downfall of the station and one of the reasons why East Brixton closed. There was also a fire that messed up the station too, which kind of sealed its uh, doomed fate, you know. The Victoria Line opened in stages from 1968, reaching Victoria Station, extending further south down to Brixton in July 1971. The extension came with the allure of frequent semi-automatic tube trains that could get you across London in 30 minutes, with an array of connections to other tube lines and multiple railway stations. This drew people away from using East Brixton, and don't forget you also had Brixton Mainline Station on the Chatham Main Line towards Kent, which would have been fighting for its life too. Nowadays, nothing really exists of the former station, but there have been a couple of businesses located here over the years in the shadow of the old station's footprint. Skip ahead to modern times, and since then, the London Overground has replaced the formerly southern-run South London Line through here, creating a new city-wide orbital route. New trains have been introduced, and a whole bunch of new destinations are now in reach from the depths of South London. And yet, the trains still skip past the Brixton area, running non-stop between Clapham High Street and Denmark Hill. For a while, there have been a number of proposals, including reopening East Brixton, opening an interchange with the Thames Inc at Loughborough Junction, or attempting to build platforms at Brixton above the current station. Looking at the first option, reopening East Brixton, the possibility has actually been studied by Lambeth Council back in 2014, including the cost of reopening to be about 30 to 50 million pounds. But this was shut down due to the relatively high costs for the proposed benefits from the project. Also, its benefits are kind of limited due to its distance from the town centre. The second option to add a couple of platforms at Loughborough Junction for interchange to Thameslink was estimated at circa 86 million pounds with the third option of a couple of platforms at Brixton estimated at between 80 million and 120 million pounds. A lot of money. Brixton and Loughborough Junction would have been quite hard to actually do some works on. Because look, that is very high and that is very high too. And at either place, you do not have a lot of space to work with. Additionally, the line is quite curved at Brixton and is on a constant gradient between Denmark Hill and Clapham High Street, making it quite hard to facilitate works for a station. 
In essence, you can see the result of old railway companies building lines that competed against each other, not thinking about any ounce of integration or future-proofing. For now at least, London Overground trains will continue to swoosh above the heads of us Brixton folk, making it that bit harder to reach our trendy hipster acquaintances in those funky gastropubs down in Shoreditch. Anyway, if you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make it tasty, make it saucy. If you want to support the channel, make sure you check out the Patreon in the description below. If you want to leave a lovely donation, the Ko-fi link is also there as well. It's been your boy Summon Explores, thanks for supporting the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, see you in a bit.